Just like any other relationship, you have to nurture your friendship just like you would a romantic relationship. Um, and we've even had a breakup before. Like, that's, you know, that we go through real stuff. She was my baby mama, y'all. She was going to pick my kids up. We was like, you know what, we just, we just going to be cool. You know, we I'll pick your kids. We'll still do this for the kids. But it was like, we just going to do this co-parenting thing. We ain't got to be cool. You know, we, we did it for a little while. You know, I wish you love crash sliding all over the place. But yeah, so, um, okay, so what we do typically, I don't know, it's like a short in here, I'm sorry, but I talk pretty loud too, but um, typically we start the show, um, we have these like icebreaker cards, are you guys familiar with tonight's conversation? Yeah. It's another podcast, yeah, so we, um, we use their cards as like a little icebreaker in the show just to keep, get people talking. Because we do um, typically have guests on the show. Um, it's not always just her and I, like last season. So we're going into season eight, actually, of the show. We've been doing it since um, COVID, 2020. So basically, um, during COVID, you know, we just having these conversations in the house. We were like, you know what, let's go live on Facebook and let everybody hear what we're talking about because this is some real stuff and we know other people can probably relate. So that's just basically how we started. Um, but last season, we actually did a season for men, and it was called For the Love of Men. So we had a different man um, on the show for the whole eight weeks, yeah. including our fathers. And we kind of just talked to them about the different things that they go through in love. Just hearing from the male side, how do y'all feel? What do y'all need? You know, it wasn't no, why y'all do this and why y'all do that. It was literally a genuine conversation, and we just allowed them to express themselves and be vulnerable, yeah, you know, um, safe space. Yeah. yeah, so you guys are welcome to talk with us, so this is the, the point of these cards, is an open conversation, we're not forcing anybody in here to talk, but so we'll obviously, you know, but if you're, you want to speak, you can go ahead and share your opinion on the, on the cards, um, it won't be alone at all, we're going to let y'all get back to the music and enjoying the wine, okay, so I'll start with the first one, um, what is your ultimate relationship deal breaker? What is your ultimate relationship deal breaker? I, I always want to say that it's cheating because of the fact that I no longer have a safe space. I don't know. I don't. I'm not in a place where I can trust you. I may not even trust myself anymore because now I may have seen the signs but didn't trust what I saw. So now it leads me to start to question you, question myself, and if I'm worthy of whatever is going on. It just leads to too much. So to me, it's always it's, it seems like it would be cheating still for me. Because although it's not about me, there's more that you need to do. It, it, it becomes a personal thing because you're, you chose me and now you're choosing others. <laughs> so choose to go your separate way <laughs> because we cannot do this anymore. Yeah. Um, I would like to say the same. I actually, I don't know if anybody else is like this too, but... I'm the type of person who hold on until you want to leave. Like, it don't matter really what, you, this is, I'm going to say this how I was. It didn't matter what you did to me. Like, I don't like to break up and end things. So, you know, I would just hold on until they decide they want to move on. Um, but recently, a couple years ago, I lost my mom. And I learned that um, for me, what was important was support in a, you know, in a hard time because I am what people consider the strong friend, right? So I'm like, you know, but I need to have somebody to lean on as well. Um, so for me, I was saying lack of support, like showing up for me. Yeah. That's that's my ultimate deal breaker. Cause why are you here if I can't depend on you? For sure. You know. So yeah. That's 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 mine. Yeah. Anybody else? Anybody else want to share? I can. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, girl. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so for me, it's not more so the cheating. Mm -hmm. It's more you being a liar and a thief. Okay. okay. Those two are my ultimate deal breakers. Because at that point, I can trust you. I can never believe nothing you're saying. So if you are a liar and a thief, I don't want to be bothered with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I teach my children. But one, the two things you can do that, like, I can help you if you tell me the truth. Like, if you tell me the lie, I can't help you out of it. Yeah. So I'd rather you tell me the truth and we can work past it we can work through it we can work and hey, we can come up with some solutions yes but yeah no i'm not tolerating it yeah i'm not so the cheating we can work through that yeah 
You know, because exactly. you got to show grace to everybody. And because, yeah. especially yeah. if they're transparent and yeah. honest yeah. about it, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But the whole, yeah. no. Yeah. I never trust you again. Mm -hmm. Don't lie to me and don't steal from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> My thing is um, just consistency. Mm -hmm. Just being in the relationship, just us. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, and I'm not saying just the guys, you know, females do it too. They just go off and branch off and they're like, okay, we all in love for like six months mm -hmm. to a year. And then after that, it's like, okay, what changed? And then mm -hmm. us women, we know change more than men. Mm -hmm. So like if we're constantly doing this and we're doing that and you switch up, I'm be like, what's going on? Now I'm nagging. So it's a problem. <laughs> but I'm not nagging. I just need to know like what shit is. So yeah. that's just the main thing for me to spend yeah. at all times. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt, Shorty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe you can chime in on the next one. We got both. All right. Tell me about the last time you did something nice for yourself. Um, oh, amen. You said this right here? Mm -hmm. But this is that's great. That's what's up. Yeah, it's still a start too. So, yeah. Okay, you got to start. She's not wrong. I actually yeah. can agree with that. This is this yeah. is it for you too. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm happy that y'all taking care of y'all. Thanks for spending time with us. Thank you. Thanks. Well, appreciate you guys coming out. Look, they got me out the house. Coming <laughs> 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 chit chat with the girls like you in the salon. And I just and I love it. So they know me. That's why they're here. What's the tea? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, the kids yeah. still trapped the face. Ooh, what they got to say. Yeah. I went out of town, and that's actually one of the things I, I had one of the clues for my birthday. So, yeah, thank you. That was It was a great experience, and my kids could not reach me, and I was so happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, she was talking about buying the Wi Fi package and stuff. I said, girl, them kids will be okay. Yeah. What's up, hey? This, this is your birthday. Enjoy yourself. They, they be on my back, okay? I, I, and they grown yeah. almost. How old is your kids? My kids, <laughs> my kids are 17 and 15. Right, and they all like they three or four. We got you beat. Well, that's my yeah. big sister, and I got her location. I couldn't locate you, so I'm like, where is she at? Yeah, they be on my back. I mean, I mean I've done everything with them since I was young, so that's just what it is. But I knew I needed that moment from them because they're they're always there. <laughs> so I need to, them to not be there, but they did good, too. So they wasn't really messaging me, even though I couldn't really receive messages. They weren't really messaging me, but I, I needed that moment. I did that for myself, and I think that this year is actually me doing a lot more for myself. Yeah, so... Uh, I, I've been taking myself out the last couple months, taking myself out on dates and stuff because I used to do that a lot and I fell off. And it's just, it was time for me to get back to me. Yeah, and that's one thing I learned from my friend actually is just dating myself because I'm the type of person I used to like, I needed people with me. If I'm going somewhere, it's like, you know, hey, are you available? You want to go? And if they wasn't available, then now I ain't going nowhere. Like, so I just really learned to just, you know, if I want to do something, like I'll just go. And now people be like, why you can't invite me? I'm like, I don't know. I just had a, had a spirit in me to just get up and go. You know, like that. So that was the last thing I did for myself. I actually um when it, I heard some live music. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to just you know go to that bar and listen to the band. Yeah. So you know, and I'm like, I don't need nobody with me. Like I, I am the vibe. You know, so sure. yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Or, go ahead. Yeah. Anybody else? What was the last nice thing y'all did for yourself? I know a couple people said things. Anybody else? Did something I took myself out last year for Valentine's Day. That was the last thing you did for yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, went out, I, was, I was a little upset because I had no date, but it's cool. Little I, size. And that year. I just, I just got real pretty, you know. I went out and mm -hmm. I went out to Outback. I mean, I still stayed. <laughs> my friend from out of town paid for my meal. <laughs> 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 Still made sure that we had a Valentine's Day there, you know. <laughs> And it was like, oh my God, you are so beautiful. And she has the flowers that she gave me when I'm so thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, it all worked out. It's not like it was no piggy party that I was out by myself. I just enjoyed my time, having some wine, you know. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, this is the one you just pulled up. Oh, sorry. Okay, here we go. This is a good one, y'all. How long do you think a couple should date before becoming official? Anybody want to answer first before we do? How long do you think a couple should date before becoming official? 
Anybody want to? Anybody want to? I would say, I don't think that there's a time limit. Every relationship is different. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. I have to learn Where you are in your I'm still ready. <laughs> <laughs> and the person I decided to partner with, where they are, we could be ready in a month. In a month? Versus a year. Yeah, I agree with you. But I had to learn that the hard way. Like, I was the type of person to put a time limit on stuff. Like, um, okay, we've been dating for six months. Like, what is this? You know, like, always asking a question, like, what is this? Need a validation of it's just me and you and stuff like that. But like lately, I've just learned to enjoy the process. You know, like, cause there's more, you get more out of just enjoying the process in the day to day. Cause grown one built in the night, you know, like it's just like growing and learning that person then you actually can make a sound decision. If this is the person that I want to be with, you know, like rushing into it don't really make no sense. But you said, like you said, sometimes though, you can really mess with somebody right away and it can move pretty fast. You know, like there's nothing wrong also with taking your time yeah. and allowing yourselves to develop together before you make it official. Thanks for talking about y'all. So do you think that, is it only women that put a time limit on our dating relationships because no. we are so in a rush? No? no. Y'all think so? <laughs> I think no. we verbalize it more. I think okay. we, we are, you know, vocal. I can't say all of us are. Yeah. But I think most women, you know, are vocal. Men... They're more, you know, like they might have a, a in their mind, but they're, you know, not gonna say nothing. But I think we're more vocal about yeah. it than they are. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How they get to the proposal? Thinking about the time, right? Hello. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you said you were saying six months, right? A minimum. <laughs> okay. You think six months? So you put a time limit on it. You like, it's six months out, you should know somebody? Yeah. 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 Because, yeah, it's
encouraging I've never had a friend like this for sure for sure and even when you think about family you don't every family member isn't even like this a family member that can show you the type of love that you've always asked for to be a light to you like I've never had that and so she's one of the biggest influences in my life she's trying to make a thug cry in my life. and it's your birthday girl but you know you do your part and you do your best for sure every day and even though you may beat yourself up You've always done a great job of trying to be the best friends to anybody that you come encounter with. So, girl, I love you for that. Thank you, you know, man. and that's just the type of friends that I need to have in this space, even in my life now. Anybody, because I'm, y'all, yeah, I'm one for cutting people off because I don't care. Strong. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I don't care. Yeah. And I mean, it, 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 always, it ain't always a good thing, but at the same time, I cannot continue to have negativity in my life. I cannot continue to have people that will not uplift me in my life. So therefore, they have to go. Mm -hmm. And more power to them, more peace to them. I hope they have a great life. Mm -hmm. If they not, if this is not, if this is not what I'm getting, I don't, I don't need it. Aww. Yeah. Dang, she dropped that. Okay, okay. <laughs> she dropped. I don't. You didn't hear none of my other two. I'm sorry, but she's here. You know, you go the other one right here. She was right here. She was the prayer warrior in the building. You know. Pray over us and get us together, okay? So, yeah, that's what I need. Hey, Lindsay. Sorry to put you on the mic, girl. Hey. But, yeah. Anybody else want to share? Go ahead. For me, one of my closest friends, her name is Angela, and she helps me to feel safe, seen, and heard. Oh, yeah. To have a friend that makes you feel safe and seen is everything. I can tell her anything. Not so judged. She just loves on me. She accepts me. And one thing she told me, she says her name, it is I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, for someone to just love you for you and accept everything about you, that's unconditional love. And that is yes. different. And so, um, I'm grateful for her. Yeah. Yeah. My, my other friends. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> so you got that person, then you got your other friends, yeah. but yeah, they still do their part. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anybody else? Well, I got two friends, um, Ken and Rand, they sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the name. Uh, but um, I met Rand first. She's a younger sister. And we were close, you know. I just always thought she was messy, but I messed me a little bit too. <laughs> so we kind of kicked a little bit. And then I always used to hang with her. And I'm like, I always see her older sister. And I'm like, who is that? Because she always run off. She don't never tell me. And we've been friends for about 15 years now. So she always run off as kids, and I'm like, why she don't ever come play with us? Like, you know? And then, like, we finally, like, linked up, and I'm like, okay, yeah, like, Ken, I like, I like both of them. I love both of them the best, but I feel like I'm closer to her, yeah. only because she's more lovely. Rand is like, stand off, she's like, she'll, she'll be the one to be like, oh, well, get over it. The versus Ken, she'd be like, okay, let's talk about it, you know? So I, I love both of them dearly, but. Um, I miss them there in Tennessee, you know, we still talk on the phone, I try to get down there when I see them, but yeah, I love my friends. Yeah, yeah, and I think 
like like I was saying earlier on when we were starting, just like making sure we being intentional about protecting our friendships, you know, and making sure we're being we're making dates and we're making time and stuff like that to feel supported and make sure we're showing up for people the way we would like people to show up for us, but we're not doing it to have them. And that's something I have to learn in my friendships is make sure that the, what I'm doing is genuine from my heart and not because I'm expecting something in return, yeah. expecting me from them. You know, I really had to learn to love my friends for just who they are and what they add uh, because I am a very social person, like, and I talk to a lot of people, you know, like, so my therapist taught me this, like, of just, like, making sure that I'm not putting all my expectations on one group of people, mm -hmm. you know, like, because that's how you set yourself up for failure, because you're expecting them to do be your end-all, be-all. Like, have your people that you do this with. Have your people that you do that with. You know, that way you can get the best experience in your relationship that you're saying, okay, this is what this person is good at, you know, and I'm not going to expect anything from them that I know that they can fail at, mm -hmm. you know, like, because I'm not going to put that pressure on you. So I think that's how we protect ourselves, too, in, in relationships in general. And then just piggybacking, just, like, opening yourself up to other groups in your group of friends. So, like, yeah. even with Ken, I'm being gone, I'm able to do that. I still be looking at girls like, mm, I miss my sisters. But <laughs> I'm also able to hang with them and get a different experience with them and maybe, you know, become friends, like, long-time friends like we, we are. So. Yeah. And you got my girl, too, right? Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. You got it. Yeah. I, me and Kay have our little K-Tarks on our little <laughs> She called them K-Tarks. I call them K-Tarks because she, yeah, she sit me down and I tell her. Relax, I'm, I'm, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my cousin, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell her. Nice. Now, y'all know. Yeah, that's how we have, when we in the tree, we have them off to the, the side. The retreat. Because yeah. Wendy will be like, what y'all doing? <laughs> we like, outside, just have our little talk. Because mm -hmm. she definitely, uh, have been a voice for me and being able to tell me, you know, how to, you know, handle certain situations. Even then, we just recently, she like, write stuff down. So I'll, I'll think like, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do that. But it never comes into reality because mm -hmm. I'm not writing it out or I'm not moving to do it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I have been doing a little you gotta write it down, make it plain, and get the I'm not going to get a journal so I can write it down, but I've been keeping a little notes in my phone, so. You should have another journal from the tree. I know, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, could you continue to be with someone who you are no longer physically attracted to? Why or why not? <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah. So we all want to give, but who, 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 who saying no? I was going to say no, you know, and I was going to say no, but I've been with a physically unattractive person. They ain't been the best looking. And I've been with them, but because it, it wasn't, oh, hey, guys. Because it wasn't about their looks, it was just about their personality. So once you, and, and we had started talking, conversing so much that they look didn't even matter anymore. So, yeah, it's, it's possible. Let me ask you. Okay. 
you asking for it right between the cheeks. Right between the cheeks. Right, okay? Even though you're fine, you got my nerve, I can't, I can't do it. Nerve. Do y'all feel like, do y'all feel like attractive <laughs> people are more like rude, like naturally? Do y'all feel like other people just be super nice because they're ugly? Like, no, because they have to settle with a fact of, because I'm just, we all got to look in the mirror. And if you hurt, I think that some people hear something so much that they be like, okay, but now you have to have something else to make up for that face that you don't have. So... And it, I mean, you know, but I, I think that they know that they're not attractive and they have to find other ways to make to, to compensate for that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> some, some people try to overcompensate. I was like, it just made me go. <laughs> y'all know what I was thinking. Y'all want y'all to come in on my head? Because it made, it, made me, it made me think about like a man, you know, who got a little small, you know. So now he, you know, so now he may, you know, overcompensate with the head game because, you know, he really can't, he ain't got nothing to work with. You know, it made me think about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. All right. So you consider flirting while in a relationship cheating? Why or why not? Flirting in a relationship. Flirting in a relationship. Do you guys accept that? Is that cheating? Why or why not? Well, oh, why we got it? What, what, what is, what, yes what, is, so is there a different definition for flirting to everyone? I mean, yeah. it depends on how far you take that flirting to. Because okay. I'm naturally friendly and some people, well, I don't know. Because if I'm in a bar and, I mean, and there's a guy, I could smile, I could joke, I could, but some people would consider me flirting with him even though I'm, I'm not trying to get in his job. Right. But you know when you flirting. <laughs> <laughs> you know. If I'm purposely coming on, if, see my thing is what is the intent? Because other people may look at me and be like, oh she flirting and she married and she, I'm not, I'm friendly, so. I, I think it, I don't know. If you're but is it okay for you to intentionally flirt? No, it's not okay to intentionally flirt with mm -hmm. somebody when you are committed to someone else. I won't even just say Because you're sending the wrong message. Because you're sending the wrong message. When you are committed to someone, because I can't always say the term marriage because marriage isn't for everyone, but they have committed to each other. So when you commit to someone, no, you shouldn't be intentionally flirting with someone mm -hmm. else because that flirt could go elsewhere. What if your man using you to get something? Like, you know, for instance, like drinks. drinks. No, nah, like drinks and stuff. Like, but, you know, go work your magic. Drinks. Go get <laughs> You know, because I'm a social person too. Like, and the guy I'm dating, like, he's done that. He's like, daddy, go ahead. 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 Go
Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And like I said, it just depends on where you are. It's just not a concern. Like, I know who I'm with. Right. If I'm secure in that and he's insecure with me, then that's it. I'm not worried about nobody. Nothing else. And the moment that he chooses to go that way, that's another thing. If that's he goes it. that way, then that's on him. Yeah, that's right. Me too. Yeah, no doubt. As as that. That's yeah. my motto right there. I say hands down because my husband has his own business and he deals with a lot of women and especially church women. Mm. And everybody. <laughs> 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 So yeah, he has a magazine and it's filled with churches and everybody always asks Lord. me to turn. And I'm like, first thing I say is that if you can take him, you can have him. He doesn't have to me. Because I am not going to chase him and stress out. Because I have one life to live. And that's it. Because my dad taught me from the beginning, if a game right, acting right, they run like buses. Hop on another one. one coming. I can't I not worry about that at all. And I teach my daughter to not to be able to let things go. Don't hold on to stuff. Period. Let things go. Because it was a difference for me. But going back to that, I don't, you know, like him. Sometimes, like, we be at big events. Like, we just had to do one with the mayor. And we had to be at a gala, and I had on um, like this little cheap dress. Don't lie. <laughs> it didn't look cheap. It was good. <laughs> but it's come, come on, friend. Come on, friend. Come on, friend. But I was like, let me know, because I wanted to be like them. You know, I wanted to bling out too. But I had to hurry up and get a dress, and it was people in there. I kid you not. Hands down, you know, Louis Vuitton is all this fancy stuff. And one lady asked me that same night. You know I said, listen. Mm -hmm. You see me out you see me up here working and interviewing folks for this magazine. Period. If if he can find somebody like me, then so I'm just gonna sure. take my little alimony and live my <laughs> best life. <laughs> <time. laughs> Bernie I want you to stress and do everything I'm doing because you're going to have to fit the bill. Yeah. So I'm not, I don't, I, I, I don't worry about it because God got me mm -hmm. because I came from nothing to something. So I don't worry about nothing. You know what you bring to the table. Yeah. Yes, period. Know your worth, sis. I do. I love that for you. Okay. So this makes an echo. I don't know. So. <laughs> What's the most romantic thing you have ever done for someone? Me, Y'all, y'all, y'all doing romantic stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. 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 That's my words are not always the best because I'm not a words of affirmation type of person. So I always show, and I think that's why I've always wanted somebody to show me something because I'm either, I'm doing something for you. I'm showing you that this is how I feel about you. And I think the, what was it, most romantic? Most romantic thing. Oh, that's, that's the last one. Um, I've done, it was um, Valentine's Day, and I did like little rose petals around our little table. I made these. Um, drinks. I used to make this drink. What was it called? The uh, pink champagne. Pink. pink no, it was a pink champagne lemonade that y'all used to oh, like. Okay. Okay. Um, and I had put some raspberries in the glass. It was real cute, y'all. Real, real cute. <laughs> oh, and then another romantic thing. I think I don't really think this was romantic. Was because of the person. Um, I had got a, got them a um, build a bear. Um, and the heart, the the heart or the, the voice was their rap. So anytime they pressed it, it was them rapping. The bear was rapping the song. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Well, I could say this one girl I liked. I found out her favorite color was pink and found out her favorite candy. Because I, I watch. I observe if a person likes something, I listen. Yeah. So then I just pulled up and told her to come outside. So I had, like, pink roses and her favorite candy. Mm -hmm. I said, this is because you're sweet and this is because you're beautiful. Aww. Aww.
Yeah. So. Yeah, I would say for me, because I'm like that to long as That's my sister, y'all. But um, yeah, um, I noticed that the guy I'm dating, he likes hats. Like he's really into hats, and he has kids. So um, for Father's Day, I got him a hat, um, hand painted with a picture of him and his children. Um, and he like. <laughs>
my husband he doesn't he didn't have any kids and I was dumb. I only have one son, I was dumb with the kids and I'm like, mm -hmm, I wanna travel. So he didn't know this, but when I found out that I was pregnant, I took some tests, I put it in the thing and he was like yeah, I was like, yeah, we have a baby. Oh, okay. You kind of wrapped it up like I did. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, and that was his one and only. His mom is older. Out of all nine kids, he never had any kids. So, he decided that he wanted to have a kid with me, and I didn't want to have any. And so, then I was like, okay. And then I wound up having it. I wound up getting pregnant, and I, I gave it to him, and he don't think that. Oh, that's so sweet. That's nice. That's the well, dang, I just filled up my husband's pickup truck, but I had to go find <laughs> 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 You filled up a pickup truck. I'm the one that cost the pregnancy. Okay, I think this is a great way to wrap up. This is a great question. What's your go-to way to deal with a stressful day? Why? Why? Amen. Look. Oh, so let's toast to that. Oh, no. Oh, man. The wine. I like to take a bath. Like some candles. Turn on some music. Yeah. Just relax. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I like to smoke some ganja. Period. Yeah. 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 And just five out, and I love to take a nice little hot bath. I'm a massage. You know, I did a hot bath. That was for hours. Like, wow. <laughs> Girl, because, first of all, I've seen a post about that. Like, why women take um, um, showers that's, like, so hot? It's just relaxing. It's, it's, it releases so much from your body. And I don't think people really understand the nature of it. I know men's skin can't handle it. They can't take the heat. They can't take the heat. If you can't take the heat, get out the kitchen. Why is you here? Get out the shower. Why is you here? Get out the shower. shower, though. Oh my God! Okay, let's take care of your whole body. Listen until it get cold. That's how. That's how long I stay in the shower when I do like the shower. But I love a good bath. I like to sit. I like to soak. I like to turn to the pool. You know, I love it. Yeah, that's how I do. Not. Okay, let's take care of your whole body. That's how long I stay in the shower when I do like the shower. Well, thank y'all so much for tapping into Wine and Grow with Ken and Kay. I hope y'all like what y'all heard. And then you guys will follow us on I got that Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Wine and Grow, one word. Wine and Grow. Is it G-R-O-W or Grow? Mm -hmm. Grow, G-R-O-W. Yeah, Wine and Grow. All right, we're going to get back into the music and the tasting. Everybody, just FYI, uh, we're doing our last tasting. If you haven't had this one, this is the Marenko, so please come up and try it. It's um, oh, we need table. one. And we also are selling bottles, so if you're wanting to purchase bottles, please come up now. Yes. Um, and that's it. Let's get All right. Thank you. Thank you.